I'm back. Um, I don't. I think my battery died, which is really weird. Or at least, anyway, it kicked me off. I don't know what's going on. But it is telling me I only have 20% left, so we'll see how long this lasts. Um, and if you're new, if you didn't follow along in the very beginning and the front of this, the first part uh, before my camera dropped off, um, I am currently, we could call it a coffee shop. Technically, it's like the mall between buildings. It's like, um, I don't know what they call it here, but yeah, so there's a lot of noise. It's improving though. It was really bad over the course of lunch. I think most people have gone back upstairs back to work. So I just want to continue and lift that line. So we went over lifting the lines and I hope that that was clear. If you're not sure, go back and watch more. It did really help that you guys were able to um, give me direction and let me know if it, was, if it was helpful or not. One positive note here is while the camera shut down, I did have a moment to run over to the community section and upload the reference photo for this. So you guys, that's in YouTube. So if you guys want to go over to that community section, you can um, see the, the photo I'm using. And then, you know, if you feel like getting your paints out, we could paint together. I'm just pulling the paint off this part too. I'm trying to get the base to be perfect. There's a little line here because I stopped working and there's, um, that one's getting much better. So I'm just kind of pulling it around a little bit just to get it better. What do you think? So way down here we have some green. I don't have a reference photo, so I don't really want to tackle that right now. But this part, you guys can actually see the reference photo. And <laughs> glad you're back. <laughs> um, oh, cool. Yes, Marcy, we're back to back to normal. Or actually not normal, because I'm doing a live tutorial, which I don't normally do. I haven't done these in about a year now. Um, Belt King. Yeah, that's cool. You found me on gardening. I have a gardening channel. I'm sure you guys know I have a gardening channel. I post, um, I post weekly at the moment. It is January, so I think for the rest of the January I'm only posting once a week. But for the last four months or something, I've been posting twice a week. And soon we're going to start with seeds, so that will be fun too. So I'm just checking my colors. This is May Green. Okay, so this is all different shades. Now, if you guys go over to the community section in YouTube, you can see my reference photo. You can probably take a screenshot, maybe. I don't know if you can download it, but that'll give you an idea. And then you can tell me where the colors are supposed to be because unless I click off this for a second, I'm not gonna see my reference photo. Um, this part is light green, but it moves up into a lighter yellow. Let's put our water down first, way down here. This water is a little green now because I didn't completely wash it out. Keeping it nice and light and then keeping it wet. Almost like I'm washing it out. I gotta make sure I don't go outside of my line here. Low battery. Enough of the battery problem. Come on guys. I need someone to come show up. I am in Ottawa. Come bring me a plug. <laughs> and we'll keep going. I don't know, this might last another five minutes and then um, I'll have to finish it at home. So I have it on an angle. This is another tip. Because I have it on an angle, I'm able to get the paint to flow to the bottom. So I know it looks simple and such at the moment, but I get the paint to flow to the bottom so it's not, you know, pouring that direction and up into the flower which gives me this lighter part up here, which I want to keep pretty light. And if I add color to that, it'll be way, way later. Um, yeah, I just want to drop a little touch of something else in there. Now, again, in the reference photo, can somebody look at the reference photo and tell me what it looks like? <laughs> is this glowing or is it the inside that's glowing or is it this side that's glowing? I know one of these is glowing. And I also know this is dark, so I'm going to paint this because it's dark. So I just add a little bit of water in and now I'm going to... I'm going to pull this down. Pretty much do an edge to edge. I believe that is edge to edge down there. Wait, you guys can't see it. Sorry! can't stand when that happens when I'm actually filming and then I do like 20 minutes worth of work on a part that nobody can see. Ugh, it's terrible. Let's turn this over. Okay. 
don't leave. I'm doing the fun stuff now. I'm going to tap in that color. I've turned it over and I'm just going to let it, let it bleed or blend. The technical term is bleed, although I don't really like saying that, but I'm going to let it blend. It seems like, it seems crass to me. And I'm just going to add a little more water to pull it out at the bottom. So we get this soft two-tone. Okay. Yes. Now, next question. Why is this yellow and this is dark green and these colors don't match up? It's because if you go to that reference photo and you look, this is all, I took a flashlight and I, I um, shined the flashlight onto it from a side so that you could really see through it. So some of it is really bright yellow and other parts are really dark green and it's just gorgeous. Hello, Chintu Boss. How are you doing? I must pre-warn you that my battery tells me, my phone is telling me the battery is low, so we might have another incident where this turns off. Although I hope I can do these more often because this is fun and I'm quite comfortable sitting in a very public place talking to my phone. <laughs> uh, people seem to not mind. I guess there's enough of us doing it. Okay, so I just lifted, what color was that? Uh, olive green, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I just lifted olive green and it is this color over here. It's a pretty intense color. It's a very intense color. Let's add a little water. Um, now, colors and intensity. I just checked, did anybody say anything? No, okay, colors and intensity. I had a really great question recently, which was why are my colors not as intense as your colors? Now, I did do a tutorial on this. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, technical problems. Bah humbug, right? Um, <laughs> I did a tutorial, which, which is coming out soon, I think I already mentioned that, um, on colors and the intensity of colors. But if you find that your colors are not intense enough, there's a few ways to get around that. One, like you, see, you can see how intense this color is, right? That's straight out of the, the palette. It's also a professional high quality paint, so there's a lot of pigment. And I go into that a lot more in the other tutorial, so I'll leave most of that for that. But you want to look at the paint you're using and figure out if it's the right quality, if it's going to have enough pigment in it. And you also want to, if you find that even regardless of what paint you're using, if, you, if it's just too light, like here, which this is very light, right? Um, you want to layer it on. That's the key with watercolor. Layer your colors. You can either mix more paint, like I've got one drop of water in here, and if I do it right now, my, my brush will be full of the paint. So I but I put the brush in and really mix and mix and mix and mix and mix to activate all of that paint or use it straight from the tube in which case it's still wet or um, if you let it dry and we come back and apply another layer so let's try that here so for example this is Rose Adore right now if I mix that up I've got a lot on the brush and I've already got it here but look what happens when I apply the paint on top and we'll come back to this because I think um, I can do it a few times. It's not the best color to try to layer up. It's actually, you know, by itself, it's a very light color. So maybe it is a good color to try to layer up. Um, so that's one. I want to make it somewhat. Notice that there's like those passes as I pull the brush through it. That's because the paint is so thick. And this paint has almost, almost a gel consistency. It's a really interesting weird kind of paint. It doesn't flow the way normal paint does. It's from Windsor & Newton and this is the Rosador that I'm using right now in case anybody's wondering. So I'm just going to leave that and we'll come back to it and we'll see what it looks like and then I can put a few more layers. See, you kind of have to, have to apply it really, really um, evenly in order to get it to lie flat, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, there we go. Okay, I'll come back to that. All right, so we're back to this. I really do work like this. I mean, technical difficulties aside, I am slow and meticulous, and I study my subject like crazy, and <laughs> uh, yeah, it takes a long time. Now, if I just take a little bit, that's the other side of colors. If you find the colors too thick, we just take a little tap, touch, sorry, a little dab, and we add water. We can get it really quite light, but with more paint, we can get it very dark. So that's the range of this color. And I do feel that from memory, <laughs> I think that might be an okay color. So I did layer some water on this side, but it's mostly dried. So I'm gonna do that again. I 
think this time I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, another tip. Ooh, I'm just full of tips today. Another tip is if you turn your paper over, um, because, okay, if I paint this way, the paint will roll, will run down into all these details. And since I actually want it to go that way, if I turn it over, same if you're doing a skyline, if you turn the sky, the painting over, then the skyline won't drip onto your foreground. That was a better way to say that, wasn't it? So I'm just coming in nice and simple. Let's try to figure out where that is so you can see it too. Okay. So I've painted all the way down to the bottom. There's a really good sheen on that. It's inside my lines. It's exactly where I want it to be. It is drying. Oh wow, it's drying. Okay, sheen, sheen, it's drying. It's not really on the end yet. Let's come back and fix this. If you guys aren't sure, I have five, I think five tutorials now called how to control water and it the first one the main one which is also by far my biggest video uh, view wise um, touches on this exact topic the importance of getting that water perfect so that your flow your, your paint is going to flow the way you want it to so i'm going to lift this olive green and i want to tap it in now i could just pull it i could paint it in but i want to tap it in because i want it to be thicker at the bottom and i want it to just move slowly. Also, if I can't get these parts all perfect down here, and then as it moves, if it misses a spot, I can come in and, and, and add the paint in. And you also notice, because I'm holding it on an angle, um, as the paint goes this way, it's kind of making its own little, little path. It's not going to go much further than that because the, this is all dry now. Need it. A humidifier. I mean, I'm in a coffee shop. You don't take humidifiers to coffee shops. So this part is dried. I do not want a hard edge here. So I'm going to wet, coming in backwards. I'm going to wet down here and bring it up. Do you guys see how that works? And there's another part. So I'm going to wet this side. See, it's, yeah. I'm going to bring it back up. I really want to paint it so you have the right angle. There we go. Wet this, gently touch it. Okay, and then this paint should flow. Because I'm holding it on an angle, it should actually flow down. And if I go out of the spot, which I just did, just come back with a little bit of paper towel. This part's pretty simple. And I'm just gonna tap it tap it right on the edge. I apologize for my shadow. It's quite a shadow. 